Top 6 Common Meals of 92.5% of Us People Seely Ruining Prostate Health Have you been experiencing frequent urination, especially at night? Night? Do you feel a persistent urge to urinate even after just having emptied your bladder? These could be early signs of prostate gland inflammation, commonly known as prostatitis. Did you know that prostate cancer is one of the most prevalent cancers among men in the United States? Statistics reveal that approximately one in eight men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer during their lifetime. Moreover, according to the latest global studies, prostate cancer ranks as the second most common cancer and the fifth leading cause of cancer-related deaths worldwide. In our previous video, we explored some beneficial teas for prostate health, such as rosemary tea, sage tea, and green rooibos tea. But what about your everyday diet? Have you ever stopped to ponder whether certain dietary choices could be adversely affecting your prostate health? As we journey through this video, we'll explore some lesser-known facts about dietary habits and their implications for prostate health. So, stick around till the end to ensure you don't miss out on any vital information that could make a significant difference in your prostate health journey. Ready to take the first step towards a healthier prostate? Let's kickstart this journey together with a closer look at frozen meals. 1. Frozen Meals In our fast-paced world, frozen meals have become a convenient solution for many households. However, their convenience often comes at a hidden cost to our health, particularly concerning prostate health. Take, for instance, the classic TV dinner. While it may seem like a quick and easy meal option, it can contain staggering amounts of sodium, sometimes reaching up to 1,200 mg per serving. This exceeds the recommended daily intake and can have detrimental effects on prostate health. High sodium intake is strongly linked to inflammation, a key factor in the development and progression of prostate health issues, including prostate cancer. Furthermore, frozen meals tend to be lacking in essential nutrients crucial for maintaining prostate health. For instance, they often lack sufficient levels of antioxidants like lycopene, which is found in tomatoes and has been shown to reduce the risk of prostate cancer. Beyond the high sodium content, frozen meals can harbor other hidden dangers that adversely affect prostate health. For instance, many frozen meals contain unhealthy trans fats, which have been linked to increased inflammation and oxidative stress, both of which are detrimental to prostate health. Moreover, the high sugar content in some frozen meals can exacerbate inflammation and contribute to prostate issues. Another concerning aspect is the packaging of frozen meals, which may contain harmful chemicals like bisphenol A BPA. Research suggests that exposure to BPA may disrupt hormonal balance and increase the risk of prostate cancer. These lesser-known facts underscore the importance of being vigilant about the quality of frozen meals consumed. So what will save you from those times when you don't have time to prepare food if not frozen meals? Rest assured, this is the solution you need. Opt for homemade alternatives or carefully selected brands with lower sodium and preservative content. Look for brands like Amy's Kitchen, which offers frozen meals with less than 500 mg of sodium per serving, significantly lower than the average. Additionally, Lean Cuisine has introduced a line of meals labeled, Spa Collection boasting reduced sodium and preservatives, with some containing as little as 300 mg of sodium per serving. By choosing these brands, you can enjoy the convenience of frozen meals without compromising your prostate health. Next, ever longed for the tantalizing blend of aromatic spices, the satisfying crunch of caramelization, and the explosion of flavors in every bite? 2. Barbecue Foods Barbecue foods hold a cherished place in American culinary culture often evoking images of family gatherings, outdoor festivities, and mouth-watering aromas wafting through the air. However, beneath the allure of sizzling steaks and smoky ribs lies a lesser-known concern. Consider the journey of a juicy steak on the grill. As it cooks over high heat, it undergoes a complex chemical transformation. One outcome of this process is the generation of compounds known as heterocyclic amines, HCAs and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs. These compounds form when meat, particularly red meat, is exposed to high temperatures, such as those found in grilling or barbecuing. Unfortunately, research has linked the consumption of HCAs and PAHs to an increased risk of prostate cancer. 
For instance, imagine a scenario where a thick, marbled steak is seared on a scorching grill. The intense heat causes the meat's surface to caramelize, forming a tempting crust. However, within this crust lurk the potentially harmful HCAs and PAHs. When ingested, these compounds can wreak havoc on prostate cells, potentially leading to the development of cancer over time. These compounds, formed through the interaction of amino acids, creatine, and sugars in the meat, pose a significant risk to prostate health. As the steak is consumed, these compounds can enter the body and interact with DNA, potentially leading to mutations that fuel the development of prostate cancer. By soaking the meat in a flavorful marinade containing acidic ingredients like vinegar or citrus juice, the formation of HCAs can be significantly reduced. Furthermore, choosing lean cuts of meat and trimming excess fat prior to grilling can help minimize the production of PAHs. Opting for smaller portions and avoiding charring or overcooking the meat can also lower the concentration of harmful compounds. Moving on, have you ever craved a snack that's both convenient and bursting with flavor, ready to satisfy your taste buds in mere minutes? 3. Microwave Popcorn While it may appear as a simple snack born from humble kernels, the journey from kernel to bag unveils a complex process laden with potential health risks. At the heart of this issue lies diacetyl, a chemical utilized in artificial butter flavoring. Originating as a flavor enhancer, diacetyl undergoes a transformation during the microwave popcorn production process, leading to its release into the air when the popcorn is heated. This seemingly harmless aroma can pose significant health risks, particularly concerning prostate health. Research conducted by the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, NIOSH, has shed light on the concerning link between diacetyl exposure and prostate cancer. In a study examining workers in microwave popcorn plants, it was found that those exposed to high levels of diacetyl exhibited elevated rates of prostate cancer compared to the general population. Envision microscopic particles of diacetyl permeating the air as kernels pop within the confines of a microwave. These minuscule agents, once innocently confined within the confines of a bag, now infiltrate the respiratory system, potentially wreaking havoc on the delicate balance of prostate health. Imagine the intricate cellular processes disrupted by these insidious chemicals, paving the way for the development of cancerous cells within the prostate gland. I know that convenience may tempt you to indulge in this popular snack, but for your health, consider opting for air-popped popcorn, free from the artificial additives present in microwave varieties. Beyond diacetyl, Microwave popcorn often contains a slew of other synthetic compounds that warrant attention. One such additive is perfluorooctanoic acid, PFOA, a chemical used in the lining of microwave popcorn bags to prevent oil from leaking. However, research has linked PFOA exposure to adverse health effects, including potential disruptions to hormone regulation and increased cancer risk. Following, have you ever wondered how you can effortlessly enhance the flavor of your salads? 4. Commercial Salad Dressings Originating from a concoction of vegetable oils, sugars, and additives, they are far from benign. Consider, for instance, a household favorite, the creamy Caesar dressing. While it may appear harmless, just a mere two tablespoons harbor a staggering 120 calories and 12 grams of fat. But what's more alarming is the primary source of this fat, soybean oil a notorious suspect implicated in the development and progression of prostate cancer. Moreover, these dressings often contain high-fructose corn syrup, a well-known instigator of inflammation within the body, further exacerbating prostate issues. Picture a vibrant salad bowl, enticingly dressed with creamy indulgence. Now, overlay this appetizing tableau with stark statistics derived from studies by the American Urological Association AUA, and the American Institute for Cancer Research, AICR. According to research published by AUA, a mere two tablespoons of certain commercial salad dressings can contribute up to 12 grams of fat, significantly impacting daily fat intake. This substantial fat load has been linked to increased prostate cancer risk, as corroborated by findings from AICR, which indicate a positive association between high-fat diets and prostate cancer incidence. Thus, those seemingly innocuous drops of dressing not only add flavor but also serve as potential catalysts for the proliferation of prostate cancer cells.
Continuing on, have you ever wondered about the potential drawbacks of convenience foods? 5. Store-bought desserts. Let's delve into the scientific underpinnings, starting with one common ingredient, high fructose corn syrup, HFCS. Derived from corn starch, HFCS is a ubiquitous sweetener found in numerous processed desserts. However, what many don't realize is its detrimental impact on prostate health. Research has shown a concerning association between HFCS consumption and prostate cancer risk. How does this occur? Well, HFCS consumption leads to spikes in blood sugar levels, triggering the release of insulin. Over time, this can contribute to insulin resistance, a condition linked to inflammation and increased prostate cancer risk. Shockingly, just one serving of a typical store-bought dessert can contain up to 10 grams of HFCS, exacerbating the issue. Did you know that every layer of cake's delicious frosting has a sinister presence, high fructose corn syrup? It will seep into your bloodstream, wreaking havoc on your body's delicate balance, promoting the growth of cancer cells in your prostate. In combating the adverse effects of store-bought desserts on prostate health, consider the substitution of high fructose corn syrup with healthier alternatives such as honey or maple syrup. Incorporating honey into homemade desserts like oatmeal cookies or yogurt-based fruit parfaits provides a wholesome and prostate-friendly alternative to store-bought treats. Similarly, try drizzling maple syrup over whole-grain pancakes or incorporating it into baked goods like granola bars for a delicious and prostate-conscious dessert option. Lastly, ever pondered the implications of consuming foods known for their crispy, fried exterior? 6. Fried Appetizers Fried appetizers, often enjoyed for their crispy texture and savory taste, may seem harmless at first glance. Let's take a closer look at the origin and specific nutrient composition. One prime example is the classic mozzarella stick. While seemingly innocent, a single serving contains approximately 300 calories and a staggering 19 grams of fat, predominantly saturated in trans fats. These unhealthy fats can contribute to inflammation in the body including the prostate gland. Moreover, the frying process itself introduces harmful compounds such as acrylamide, a known carcinogen formed when starchy foods are cooked at high temperatures. This compound has been linked to an increased risk of prostate cancer. Each serving of a plate of golden, hot and attractive fried onions contains about 380 calories and 22 grams of fat, mainly saturated fat. When soaked onions enter boiling hot oil, they absorb the oil, becoming a reservoir of unhealthy fats and harmful compounds. Opting for alternatives like baked or air-fried versions significantly reduces the fat content while maintaining the crunch we love. Air frying, in particular, is an excellent method that uses hot air circulation to achieve crispy results with minimal oil. Set your air fryer to around 350 degrees Fahrenheit 175 degrees Celsius and cook the appetizers for 10 to 15 minutes flipping halfway through, to ensure even cooking and a golden brown finish. By utilizing an air fryer, you can indulge in your favorite appetizers guilt-free, as they contain up to 80% less fat compared to their fried counterparts. Your support in spreading awareness about this critical issue is crucial. Please like, share, and subscribe to amplify the reach of this message. Stay tuned for our upcoming video unveiling the detrimental effects of certain beverages on prostate health focusing on their characteristics without explicitly mentioning teas. Together, let's prioritize our health and empower others to do the same. In summary, neglecting the impact of the common meals consumed by 92.5% of the U.S. population can have dire consequences on prostate health. The pervasive nature of these dietary choices is silently wreaking havoc on the well-being of countless individuals. It's imperative to recognize the urgency of this issue and take proactive steps towards healthier eating habits.